guys? So yeah, it's a sad day today. It's October 19th and the pool's closed. My dog wasn't happy. He came down, smelt this security cover on there, noticed he can't get in and ran back upstairs. So he kind of had a little uh, tantrum there. But uh, anyways, yeah, the weather's awesome. Uh, today's actually really warm for October 19th. And uh, yeah, it's almost 24 Celsius and it's only uh, 10 a.m. in the morning. So um, it's going to be a warm day today for uh, Southern Ontario. The palms are doing great. That's my uh, volcano here that I just got. So uh, anyways, yeah, this video is not about uh, anything but the insetti and how I'm going to chop these suckers down and uh, storm for the winter. So I already actually started here and I, and I promised you guys I'd make a video on it. So um, yeah, I'm basically just going to continue uh, cutting down the leaves and then I'll uh, show you guys how I uproot it. Uh, and store it for the winter. So I, I really don't want to cut these guys down. As I was cutting this down, the leaves here, I was feeling really bad because the weather's so nice. We don't have any frost uh, in the long range forecast for at least another couple of weeks. So um, it'd be nice to enjoy these guys, but uh, I got to get ahead of the game. I got to start uh, building shelters for uh, some of my other palms. So um, I don't want to be uh, caught up and have a lot to do uh, when colder weather does come. So yeah, basically, yeah, so these guys are, uh, the top leaf there uh, is, is over eight feet right now. And uh, I actually have a picture of these guys when I first planted them back in April. So uh, I'll just put that on the screen right now and you guys can see the, the size comparison. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a shame to let these guys go right now. But unfortunately we have to do that here in uh, zone 6A. So um, yeah. But uh, anyways, I'm just going to pause the video here, chop the rest of these leaves down, and uh, continue the video, okay? All right, so the insetti leaves are uh, all down, as you guys can tell. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm so sad. But anyways, <laughs> I guess just because of their, uh, they really make a statement. But anyways, it's had to be done. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys the size of these leaves. So I'm I wouldn't say I'm a pretty big guy, and uh, just a comparison with my hand to the leaf of this uh, incendiary here is just crazy. So, yeah, that's probably about, um, I don't know, four or five feet across. So, pretty impressive. But, um, yeah, so basically, right now I'm just going to uh, dig around it and uh, maybe cut it down a bit more. Uh, that should be okay, I guess. Um, this is my first year doing this, so uh, like you guys, it's a learning process here. So, um, yeah, so what I'll do is uh, I basically start digging around these guys and... All right, so as you guys seen, these uh, these roots are definitely not big, or deep, I should say. So uh, just gonna start taking away some of this excess uh, soil around the roots here on both these guys, and um, I'm gonna hose them down. And then uh, basically what I'm gonna do is show you the, the next process that I'm gonna do, okay? So yeah, these roots are, uh, Definitely not that big, which is great because it was already a little difficult to get these guys out. But uh, thankfully, yeah, the roots don't go down far. So, 
All right, so let's give these roots a little wash down. All right, so you can see the difference now. I completely washed this one and compared it to that one there. So uh, it just makes it a little bit more manageable. <clears throat> Even if you're potting it, uh, repotting it to put inside, in my case, I'll be storing this uh, in a cool place. But yeah, it just makes life a lot easier if you can cut back some of these uh, roots here and uh, wash as much of the dirt or soil out of that. So yeah, I'll just finish up this one and then uh, just continue. All right, so that's what they, <clears throat> excuse me, look like once I cleaned out most of the dirt, soil, I should say. And as you guys can tell, the uh, root ball is about a third of the size. So yeah, it's gonna be definitely more manageable. And uh, I mean, you guys don't have to do this, like I said, if you're just gonna wanna bring it inside and put into another pot, you can go do that. But uh, I'm storing these in the cellar, so uh, yeah. Anyways, I will uh, show you guys um, basically how to dry them now so just uh, one second all right so <clears throat> I've washed the roots out and uh, basically what you want to do now is uh, turn them upside down and leave them like this for a few days um, it's gonna leave them in the Sun right now we're kind of lucky because uh, next two days are supposed to be sunny and warm so um, I'm just gonna leave these guys like this for uh, like I said a few days let them uh, dry, dry out as much as possible. And then um, I'm basically, uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, wrap them up with burlap like this so it breathes. You don't wanna put it into a um, plastic bag because uh, that'll just promote moisture in the bag and you'll have all sorts of fungal issues. So um, yeah, wrap it with burlap or um, Put it in a paper box, or sorry, cardboard box. Um, store it in a cool, dark, dry place. Uh, like I said, I have my cellar downstairs, which never gets below freezing um, in the winter, and it's, it's dark in there always. Um, so that's where these two guys are going to go once they completely dry out. So um, yeah, so that whole process took me uh, basically under a half hour. Um, so it shouldn't take you that long, depending on your uh, size and the amount of uh, insetas you have, but. Uh, and it, once uh, in a couple of years, <laughs> I'm definitely going to need some help with these guys because what happens is the pseudo stem gets about, uh, well, it gets, it gets basically twice the size uh, or three times the size every year. So it'll get to the point where it's unmanageable. But uh, for now, it's definitely uh, easy for a one man job. So, yeah, that's it for the incentive. I'm going to take you guys out front, show you uh, the other bananas, and uh, tell you what I'm going to do with them. All right, so with these guys, uh, so these are Musa Baju. Uh, this guy obviously is coming inside um, in a pot. Uh, there's no need digging it out, obviously. Uh, this guy in uh, Zone 6A here in Southern Ontario. I think anything uh, 5B and, and uh, above, you guys can basically protect these guys, uh, the Musa Baju. They're quite cold hardy as long as you uh, protect the roots with uh, mulch, a lot of mulch and uh, Snow cover is good if you guys get snow. Um, it's great insulation. So yeah. So basically with this guy, I'm going to dig it up. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't just because I want to move it into the back next year. So um, otherwise, I would I would basically cut it down to about here. Um, or maybe even a bit lower so I can get a lot of mulch on there. And uh, But like I said, I'm not... Um, I'm not keeping this here. I'm going to put it in the back. So basically, I'm going to do the same process like I did with the uh, insetae in the back. Um, dig this up, cut it back, and uh, store it also. So, um, yeah, that's that's the process with these guys. So, um, yeah, and uh, so this is a, 
Uh, I have two more banana plants. The, the next two are uh, Musa cuminata. Uh, so basically dwarf cavendish. This one's about four feet tall. Uh, I have one upstairs that's uh, about six, six, almost seven feet tall. So th basically I'm going to, these guys are not a cold hardy either. So I will be putting them in the ground uh, with the insetti and the baju next year. So I'm going to designate one large area for all my banana plants. Uh, so that's the plan. So um, yeah, it should look good. Um, yeah, that's it guys. Hope that, uh, video helped. Um, like I said, this is my first year doing this also. So, um, we'll see how it turns out next year. But my plan is to, uh, basically I'm going to dig up the Mediterranean fan palm, the sago palm and designate this whole area. This whole area is just going to be a banana plant. So, uh, from that angle back, back here, it's just going to be uh, a really nice, uh, tropical look with, uh, all the bananas uh, so yeah and uh, I'm gonna extend this a little bit out further to over there basically um, put these guys over there somewhere I also ordered a couple of more palms for next year um, so yeah I'm gonna totally redo this area I might even dig up that needle um, I don't really want to disturb the Washingtonia um, but I may have to or the sable um, depending on how things work and I have another plan of putting a pond in here so uh, with a bit of a waterfall so yeah, next year is going to be uh, quite different, so I'm looking forward to it. And again, thanks guys for watching. Uh, really appreciate it, and uh, hope you guys are having an awesome day. And uh, have a great week, and again, thanks for watching. And if you got any questions or comments, yeah, please leave them. Um, I love reading all your stuff, so. All right, guys, take care. Cheers. Cheers.